Yes, the donkey is still alive. It's more than that, you've never seen much of it because I use it constantly. This is my favorite car and I mean it. And some back history on like when I grabbed it. I can't believe it's been so long. I really did peg it at like three months, mate. She was gonna blow her top. There's issues. There's issues. I was looking for a really scrubby, dirty van because I don't care. It's just a wheelbarrow. People in Adelaide drive terrible. I've had so many near misses in Bruce too. So many near misses in Jeff. It is tiring. But mate, if you're not gonna give way to me in this, I ain't slowing down. Choo choo, donkey coming through. But when I was picking it up, it wasn't even for sale. It was down an alleyway between two different like used car sellers. No plates on it, nothing, no price tag. And I just went, how much you want for that? And they didn't actually want to sell it to me. I'm being serious. They're like, oh, it's not really for sale because it turns out they too were using it as a wheelbarrow. They just chuck like a, a tray plate on it and just fart around, bring it back panels and body parts for the cars they were fixing to then sell on the yard. We got talking, mate. I did a bit of the gabbing, mate. Hey, look, got my thongs and wee big socks on, mate. That charms anybody. We agreed on a price and I took it. James took it round the block. The aircon blew cold, it shifted through the gears, and I went, mate, that's good enough. We cleaned the interior, like we fully stripped it down and all that, and like, you know, James refurbed it with new carpet. Gosh, that guy is a guy, isn't he? Let me show you what it looks like at the moment, because literally, this thing has done heroic jobs for me. Ah, oh, yeah. Now she's looking like a used tradie van. It's, it's just junk everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I just, this just lives in here, and it's always being charged whenever the donkey's running. It just seems good idea to always have a spare bat. A Woolies bag, good. Overall, it's still really nice. Like the riding position, so good. You can tower over all the SUVs. The power steering is so light. It's just pinky finger. The column shift. It's just funny because it confuses people. You can man spread to your heart's delight. And um, although one big complaint, no cup holders. This is the cup holder situ, and um, there may be an entire Hungry Jack's cappuccino poured straight into the carpets here. I did my best to clean it, but literally not a drop met my face. First curb heading out of the drive through mate. Just dumped off. <laughs> the whole thing is in here. It's never been fresh again. Oh, she's getting close to the half mil, and um, th there's issues. We'll get to them. Come and suss the back. You have to earn filth like this. And you can't buy filth like this. This thing's been a lifesaver. It's just helped me move house recently. It's helped to move heaps of stuff into here. It is running the show, guys, and it is currently full of motorcycle parts. Just normal stuff, mate. The carpet came off the sliding door. It was peeling and we just had to rip it off. Oh, well, big loss. These steel wheels are genius with these light truck tires on it because you can just jump curbs all day and it just goes boing and bounces straight out. Yes, the diff is still full of bananas. It hasn't changed at all. There is some clackada clacking and noises coming from this side. It's always kind of had it. When you're going over bumps, it goes grrr. It's not that bad and it's just gorgeous. The patina is amazing. Oh, jeez. The van had a counter attack. Did you see that? Just get that bonnet up. So she's just the 2.4 liter four banger. Um, it's fun learning that like the really cheap LDV utes that you see are still using this engine for... <laughs> Mate, if you're wondering how they get those things down so cheap, it's got a donkey motor in it from 2001, so... <laughs> it's not fast, but it goes around. Well, what's something that's wrong? Well, mate, she's running on pure Lucas oil stable currently. We gave it a full service, and all the oil disappeared, but it doesn't leak. That can only mean... I think all the oil's coming out of here. I, th I mean, you can just see from the... Ooh, yeah, she's black looking. Apparently it's on a second motor. This one's got like a quarter of a million kilometers on it. And um, I, I have not been kind to it whenever I've driven it. It's never gotten worse. It's always been kind of like this. Uh, but I think this motor's going to start needing a bit of, bit of love given to it. Lucky it's related to the Mitsubishi Evo motors. <laughs> so technically we could have a 500 horsepower donkey. I love how inconspicuous it is. You just bland into traffic around like this industrial place. You just look like one of the locals. It is so comfortable, lightweight power steering. It just bangs over bumps like they're nothing. Like, 
I mean it. This is so comfortable. Four cylinder, it's actually not that bad on fuel. I thought there should be some good news on this stinking channel to show that like, the old donkey van mate hasn't been seen because it's been literally running the show and half my life. Bless you, donkey van. You're doing a bang up job, mate. I'm so proud of you. My boy's corpse is still up here. I don't want to look at the boy's corpse, James, mate. Just get him down already. 